Now 600,000 people are being invited for COVID booster jabs. Jab number four this coming week. It says infection levels reach near record highs in England. Official figures reckon that one in 16 people had the virus last week. Well, with us now to look at the rise of the COVID cases is Professor Hugh Pennington from the University of Aberdeen. Good morning to you, Professor, and thank you so much for joining us. Um, so we are seeing, we just heard there, one in 16 people had the virus last week. Uh, why are we seeing this rise? It's down to this variant, Omicron, uh, and it, it's kind of a progeny, uh, the B2 um, variant of Omicron which is very, very good at growing, particularly in your nose. Uh, you know, the virus grows in your nose, it grows in your throat, it gets down in, into your lungs. What this virus, fortunately, um, it may be very good at getting about, uh, because we know that it gets about, you, know, you breathe it out, somebody breathes it in, bingo, you've got an infection. Uh, it, it's nowhere near as good as, going at, it, it, as in growing in the lungs, which is a danger thing. And so it's not a, as nasty as Delta and all the other variants that we've known about going way back to Wuhan, you know, a couple of years ago and all that kind of thing. So that, that, that's the good news. The bad news, of course, is there's a, there's a deal of virus about because it gets about, and it's even spreading in China, which has had this zero COVID uh, policy. Um, and the, the figure really to look at, okay, it's, you know, it'd be nice if we had much lower um, infection rates. The figures to look at are how many people are being driven into hospital by the virus and how many people, particularly how many people end up in intensive care and so on. Because those are the people who suffer uh, particularly hard and unfortunately some of them don't make it. And those are the figures to watch. Unfortunately, they're not anywhere near as bad as one would expect if this was, this was one of the previous variants. So that's the good news. What we do know about Omicron is and the B2, is it's very good at infecting people who've already had an infection with COVID. And um, the, the vaccine works against it, but you really need to have a very strong immune response. And that's why we're having the boosters, because the booster really gives you a supercharged immune response and protects you against uh, the, the virus getting down into the lungs and causing the serious damage that you know, might, might put you in intensive care. I mean, the, the trouble is, whenever whenever we look at the at the figures and and we we say, look, the 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 infections are huge, but the hospitalizations are comparatively small. You know, plenty of people say, well, it just goes to show it's not that dangerous. Are we in this position that we're in now because of the vaccine program so far? If we hadn't had the vaccine, goodness only knows where we'd be. I mean, we'd be far worse in terms of. Um, the number of deaths, you know, simple and straightforward, because this virus can still kill. But it really doesn't go for very young people. It doesn't go for children. It doesn't go for even middle-aged adults have a very, very low chance of having a very serious infection. The, the one thing that's absolutely characteristic about all the variants of uh, COVID is uh, the relationship with age. The older you are, the more likely you are to have a whole, uh, you know, a hard time. And that's why they're focusing with the booster on, on you know, uh, on people with, you know, damaged immune systems, but also, uh, and the most important group in terms of numbers are, are the elderly, because this is, it, it's quite unlike any other virus in, in the relationship between age and nastiness, that the younger you are, the more likely you are not to have even any symptoms at all. And um, even if you do get symptoms, it's like a black like cold and all that kind of thing. And in fact, the virus is doing extremely well in, in, in the young. Um, it's not causing them any serious damage, but the elderly are the people we're trying to protect with the booster. And the booster protects very well, because we know all, all coronaviruses produce an immune response when you've been infected. Uh, but after a few months, that immune uh, response wanes, it diminishes, and it doesn't uh, protect you anywhere near as well. You have a booster, bingo, you go right back. You're probably even better than you were after your first two or even three doses uh, of, the, of the vaccine. So you know, that's why the booster program is being ro rolled out, and I'm that's why it's protecting you. 